The bomber went over this area. Mind you, you know, they're so huge, you don't really realize that maybe they're a little farther than you think, but too close. Relief families, like the Watsons, are returning to their homes in Peachland, and despite the houses smelling of smoke, they are truly grateful they are still standing. You know what, we just pulled in, so it's almost like, um, yeah, we're here, um, everything's fine, we don't have retardant on our house, that's a good thing, and yeah, it's just this feeling of, okay, to settle down and whatever happens, happens. You have to live with it, living in this area. We came in last night, they said so many people would be able to go back and the house reeked of smoke and uh, I was in the 2003 fire then too and was evacuated and they said to put bowls of vinegar in all the rooms and uh, that, so that's what I did. I noticed you have a cat, and you, you, you took him with you? Yeah, actually we put him in the little carrying case and kept him there. Everything was by the door, ready to go. And he traveled well, he was absolutely fine. We bunked up on uh, Beach Avenue overnight uh, in the fifth wheel. Where's your house then, I guess, then, sir? It's on uh, Cousins Road. Okay. It's like going up, just up Trepanier, and Trepanier turns into Cousins Road. Yeah. And your house is okay, they're telling you? I think so. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's just a waiting game then to stay with your yeah, friends? Yeah, I guess, know? yeah, that's what they say is I just have to wait. It's like all hell broke loose the, that the fire started down there. Within half an hour or so, it was up here. At the Parrot Island Sanctuary, the birds are a little rattled. They don't like the helicopters flying overhead, and they certainly didn't like the fire on Sunday. The owners had to make quick decisions with the fire bearing down on them, and the parrots had to stay. You can't just take them out and put them in a, a van, or in people's vans, and take them to barns or chicken coops. The building is designed to withstand a lot of the elements. It's metal on the outside, metal roof. It was airtight, so the smoke couldn't get in. Inside, we have metal eight feet up the walls. Sprinklers around the building, that's the best we could do. They were pretty scared, yeah. They certainly sensed something. The air was pretty thick. Um, they could smell the smoke. And I, I guess they're so bright, they could pick up that we were anxious. Ken Klein owns 25 acres on McKinnon Road on the upper bench and stayed behind to protect his animals and property. My decision to stay was based on very careful observation of where the fire was and where the danger was. And I did know my exits and my uh, I had an ability to get out if I had to. But I decided to stay because um, there were things I could do in case there was uh, some danger to the property. I could move equipment into the hay field. I could get the animals into a safe position and uh, still have a, a way out for myself if I needed it. At 11.30 in the morning, this portion of Trepanier Road remains on evacuation order. Now you can see the fire in behind me here on the hill, and it's not just one big fire, it's a number of little fires, and it's difficult terrain. Tuesday afternoon, the blaze remained at 200 hectares and was about 75% contained. Those returning to the area are reminded that hazardous conditions may still exist on private properties, and the public is requested to stay out of fire-affected areas for their own safety. For the most part, the returning residents are grateful for the efforts of the firefighters, who accomplished so much under difficult conditions. The biggest help was the firefighters, the pilots, the RCMP. These birds wouldn't be here. You did a good job. I say thank you to everybody that fought the fire. But I feel like the response time was too slow. I feel like we were very unprepared as a community for this fire and that we really need to not rely on the um, authorities and we need to get together and find, you know, make a plan to where we can handle this and not have to wait for people. You can see how close the Trepanier Forest Fire came to Peachland Elementary School by looking at the hills just in behind the school. The building will remain closed on Tuesday while the air is purified inside and given a generally a pretty good cleaning up the countertops and the desktops and that type of thing. Peachland Elementary will be open on Wednesday.